Hey guys, welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In the last episode, we learned our first new spell of the new year. So we are off to a very good start, and everything seems to be fine. Hey, who are you? Harry, the weekly house point ceremony is about to start. Follow me, and I'll show you where it is. I know where it is. It's like across the hallway. What a strange girl. Who is she anyway? Where, where's Ron and Hermione? Like, why aren't they fetching me? Good morning, everyone. For those of you who have trouble with Oh yeah, me, suck it, Slytherin. I'm Albus Dumbledore. Dude, <laughs> headmaster of Hogwarts. Who doesn't know you? Welcome to the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points wins a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. That's neat. The length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second placed house. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the Bonus Bean Room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beans. Yay! So, just in case you, there aren't enough beans to collect in your regular playthrough, this is the bonus level where you really, re you really let let it go. Yeah, let's just walk around collecting beans like we're some crazy person. This is an addiction that this entire, that the entire wizarding community is reliant on these beans. There, there's gotta be a medical term for this. Okay. So up. Whoa. They. They sprung really far. So obviously, if you uh, as we learn more new spells, we're gonna be able to pick up more of these beans here. For now, we uh, we probably have to stick to the ground. I'm surprised by how how uh, much Gryffindor is in lead. Like, is there any more we can have? I guess. I guess we don't have the time for these. And here we go. Harry, there you are. Glad I found you. Hello, Wood. Time for Quidditch practice, Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. <coughs> Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. Yeah, who needs lunch? By the way, you don't want to eat lunch and they immediately go to play Quidditch. I mean, you're gonna throw up all over the place. I know I will. Hell, I I'll probably throw up without hey, Harry, want to with or without we lunch. We have the best values in Hogwarts. What Let's do you, what have? you have? I have Quidditch armor, <clears throat> just like the Chudley Cannons wear. Uh, the I I can't afford right, it even though. in cases like this. Hey, Harry, what do you have? I have a Nimbus 2001. Whoa. The best model of Where did you get that? Public. That's like so. legit merchandise. Don't know when I have these again though. How how did you import these I, I don't I don't know. Listen up, Harry. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. Okay. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course, you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle. Of course, I already know that. The three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our seeker to catch the golden snitch before the enemy seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, <clears throat> let's start out easy. Hey, you don't I'm need to go to easy on me. For you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds easy enough? Oh, you're gonna throw up a snitch? No, that's Harry's job. Right. All right then. 
You can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up, <coughs> and down. Okay, that's the snitch. I'm about to catch it. Ow. Game, Harry, but don't worry, and the uh, meter uh, down right below indicates how close I am to catching it. You you must be uh, awed by how well I'm doing. Oh shit, the blo a bludger. Well, it's I'm actually not doing anything. Harry automatically follows the snitch, so catching it is basically a no-brainer. Let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the bludgers and the other seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the snitch. Okay, I'll, I'll just we'll take it easy on you. I'll just kick her off the broom. Just easy peasy. And here we go. Automatically, Harry goes for the snitch. Like, I don't even need to go look for that. I remember in the Philosopher's Stone PC version, you, you do have to seek out the snitch on your own, and only when you get close enough, it engages in this automatic chasing. This is just too easy. Remember, Harry, you'll not put your hand out till the enemy is out of the way. Uh, oh, she's mine. When you're close to another player, Harry, you can use your action key to kick, shove them. Here we go. That like Quidditch is made way too easy Excellent in this game. Work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance of winning the cup this year. Aren't you finished yet, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes the Slytherin team. I don't believe it. I booked the pitch for I'm today. I'm really sleepy today. Hey, they've got new brooms and, and it looks like... Yes, they are! They're Nimbus 2001! They have yeah, 700 yeah. beans? Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Lay of down beans? Your rooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new rooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. Yeah, you no tell one him, Hermione. Opinion, you filthy little mudblood. <gasps> How dare you! Someone, Malfoy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley. Unlike you. That is a good one. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth it. So Ron doesn't jinx him with his broken wand in this one and doesn't end up spitting out of slugs. Mudblood. The nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. Oh, look, ominous what's going to happen. It's time for potions class with Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. <coughs> follow me. I guess I'll follow her. Not sure I can do much else at the moment. Oh, by the way, have we explored this way yet? I don't think so. Oh, <coughs> I guess we have. When? So here's the great hall, site of ceremonies and dueling. <clears throat> so the great hall, we have four lines of tables, each for one house, and the, and this one for the teachers, the big blue chair is for Dumbledore and it appears we don't have a roof but yeah that's just the uh, it, it's bewitched to look like the outside sky I read that in Hogwarts a history I'm a bookworm I'm a insufferable know-it-all <laughs> okay I'm gonna stop um, okay Snape here I come this seriously, leads to the dungeons. seriously, this this can't. Th there's no charm to put on this one. And we'll be jumping upward at a later time, not now. Hermione, wait up. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the other dungeon rooms for a second. 
Ah, this one looks ominous. Don't know what, what to do with it though. Come on, give me those beans. Oh. Well, I guess not yet. There's spiders all over the place and you, we can step on them. It's kind of fun. It's crunchy. Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. Okay. Why is it always me? A Wigan Weld potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wigan Weld potion. Flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. Okay. Um, they're out. Yay. Now, walk up to the cauldron. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Uh, Potter why should now I? has a Wigan Weld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. <coughs> Back to your. It's weird to hear Snape Potter. say press space bar. Those of bar. you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wigan Weld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan Weld potions can be made. And the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Are they also like ingredients for now, the Polyges poison? Lecture, the history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flubberworm mucus, and I was right. <laughs> well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snake comes out. Oh, here we go again. What was that? What was what? That voice. It was coming from over there. Come on. Is that Ginny? Oh, we're here already. Oh, that's horrible. What's going on? <sighs> Enemies of the air, beware. You'll be next, mudbloods. Hmm. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. <laughs> what else do There's you want? More to see here. In one crime scene. So definitely truncated a lot of the book's Everyone plot, Hogwarts was disturbed but that's understandable. The on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on the wall. Rumors and speculations spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. We have to get to Charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. 
an idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. Sure. I think I already got this one. Yeah. Sorry, no time to talk. Sorry, no time to talk. I'm literally about to fall asleep. If I fall asleep yeah, uh, midway through recording, please chance. forgive me. Coming, Hermione. All right. Money's bossy. Father liked that about her. Hey, Mr. Filch, remember me? Blast it, Potter! I'll get you. Hey, he remembers Harry. Um, he thinks it was Harry who uh, petrified Mrs. Norris, which of course is not true, and it's not. It's maybe not may not be so in the game because Filch was not there to accuse Harry. But hey, it looks like his temper has caught on. Welcome to charms class. Today we shall be learning the scourge charm. Yes, Miss Granger. I was just wondering if you could uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor. We all want to hear. <laughs> oh, very well. There were four Harry fucking owns Hogwarts, this place. Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. With a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day... Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. The horror. And then all who are not wizard born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step <laughs> yeah. forward and demonstrate. Then let's go back to reality and practice some magic. Hey, you don't have to bow so deep, Harry. It's just a. Whatever. I'm ready. Try not to focus on all this Chamber of Secrets, Balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand I is see about a dick. to move its way Do you see a dick? I symbol. see a dick and two balls. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Hit me! Round one. Go. <laughs> I know I'm drowsy right now, but hey, I can do this. This is so relaxing. Hey. Well done, Harry. <laughs> I can. I'm so good at this. I can literally do it in my sleep. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Okay. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. See, Ten this is why Gryffindor is in lead. Round three, go. Completed all of the necessary exercises. Do I get a prize? Points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. <coughs> Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. Oh, great. That's my reward. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Scourge Challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found several floors below us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. 
Along the way, you'll find challenge stars. Yeah, Collecting I know all challenge this. stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Right. Here we go. First of all, we are gonna start with these bean collecting activities, of course, as per usual. <coughs> what is with you, suit of armor? Why do you only spit one bean at a time? Ectoplasm is an unpleasant greenish substance Ectoplasm. by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. You mean nearly headless Nick made these? Scourge! Scourge! Flipendo! Oh! Jesus. Where did he come from? To free items that have been trapped by ectoplasm. These green jelly are so annoying. I know they're called ectoplasm. I know that now. Oh, is that bloody bear? Okay, new wizard card, and that is Bridget Wedlock, famous Arithmancer, first to establish the magical properties of the number seven. Seven is like the most magical number. And a very magical word, apparently. I don't actually need. I actually don't need to save game like this anymore because it doesn't ectoplasm work. Takes away some of your stamina. The longer you're in contact with ectoplasm, the more stamina you Ow! You. What I do with you guys? <clears throat> oh no, it's peas. Oh man. Well, if it isn't spotty, grotty, snotty, potty water, I like your name. It rhymes with so many insulting things. Aha! Oh, I, I could have to fight him. <laughs> why, why is this slime cleaning magic spell just conveniently can be used against the peeves? So I guess that's how you deal with poltergeists. Whatever Spielberg did with the Poltergeist movie was wrong. You actually just have to use some cleaning uh, appliances. Poltergeists are actually just filthy. You just have to clean them. Um, fun fact: my saving actually does not work. So, how am I able to? How am I able to play this game day in and day out? Well, actually, I have to. It's actually really lame. I have to painstakingly manually download the save files from the internet uh, to put them in the uh, in, in the save file location. Uh, and I, I have to choose the closest one to my current progress and then play to wherever I stopped playing. Then I start recording. <clears throat> it's actually not that bad, you know, it's, it's just a little bit annoying that the game cannot uh, save the way it's meant to. Oh, it's poisonous ingredient. Also, that also, that also means there is no consistent record of how I'm achieving things. Like, the, the house point, it's gonna vary from... Uh, and probably the bean count is going to vary from one time to the next because... Well, I, uh, each time I will be playing a different person's save file, unless they are all made by the same person, I don't know. Hey, who are you? <clears throat> you are Greta Catchlove, 1960 to present, author of Charm Your Own Cheese. 
charm your own cheese. That sounds like a book that that sounds like a must read. Oh my god. This is where I went last time. Oh, here we go. I still, I still save the game even though I knew it's not gonna work. It's just, it's kind of just a forced habit at this point. You, <coughs> there's a snail-shaped plank that I know would be perfect for you. It takes so long to hurt him there. Oh. I just said you're just a bit of a secret. Oh, a silver card. Must be somebody important. Full bird the fearful, famous for being so cowardly, he never ventured out of his house. Died when the defensive charm backfired and the roof fell in. Dude, I was just bragging it had to be somebody important. And I guess he's not unimportant. I mean, he, he scared himself to death. How many people can say that? Didn't work. Great. <clears throat> Don't you just love these blue torches? Get away from me. Oh, my friend, you. Okay. I'll wait. You still have your uses. Get on. Oh, and is there some secrets down there? Should I join them? Nah, I don't think I will. Beans. <laughs> yeah, it's a little creepy. Hogwarts has always been a little creepy. I mean, Hogwarts is a, without exaggeration, a haunted castle. So what do you expect? Now, we, that is a we just Pixie. troublesome and annoying creatures. They <coughs> we just fought a poltergeist. So try to avoid them. Rictus Emperor will stun them. And there goes Bloody Baron, just chilling. I like these suitcases, they can... They, they're very generous. And you... Get away from me. I guess Lockhart uh, unloaded all those pixies all over the school and the other teachers simply... just... used them as part of the challenge. Nope. Keep your butt away from me. Hmm. I wonder now. Nice. Oh. I have to go back. Whoa! Shit. Oh my god! Oh. Oh, I've been missing this. It's a good thing I died all those times. Oh, what is that? You guys?
Okay, here we go again. There will be no failing this time. Okay, well, you have to be careful. Good. And it better be worth it. This guy is Gregory the Smarmy Medieval Dates a known famous originator of Gregory's uh, um, unctuous unction. Fortune <laughs> to persuade the drinker that the grave giver is their very best friend, alleged to have wo wormed his way into King Richard's confidence and thus made his fortune. Is this a real historical figure, guys? Let me know. Oh my god, oh my god, I, I, my heart almost stopped. I thought I fucked up again. I'm just straight up killing these pixies. Because they died. I did not just knock them out and throw them in a hole or something. They fucking dead. What do we have here? Hmm, this is not gonna work. We're gonna need some balance. Oh, hey guys. <clears throat> The little potatoes. We'll deal with it then in due time. Get out of there. Fuck it. I'll wait for him. I'm in no hurry. I just got Roland Keg. Uh, wow, he's still alive? He would be like um, 89 at this time. President of English Gobstone's team. Still? <clears throat> Fuck it, I don't need him. Now that's how you do it. Hmm. Oh my god! Where did you come from? And what, what does this do exactly? Oh! Look at that. <clears throat> oh, the challenge is already over. Ah! Shit! Fuck you, peeps! Out of my way! Mr. Potter, you've completed my scourge challenge. The remaining time now becomes your <clears throat> personal high score. Really? Well, that's another challenge now. Never gonna do that again. So what's next? The weekly <clears throat> ceremony starting soon. Oh, come on. I mean, the first time is kind of a, it's kind of fresh, but it gets old, kind of fast. Oh, I can brew one of those potions, actually. Yeah, give me that. I don't remember how I drink it, but right now I don't need to. By the time I need to, it's gonna be all panic mode. You just wait for it. It's, I do that for every fucking video game. Oh, by the way, some of these puzzles are now open to me because... SHIT! 
Hello, everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. If you say so. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Yay. Hmm. It appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. By a Baggy, significant margin, I might like add. You get to visit the bonus bean room. Suck it, Malfoy. By the way, why does Harry get to do get to visit the bean room? Why does Harry represent the whole Gryffindor house in this? I don't know. But I'm not gonna complain. Hey, there's a, let's try a new spell. Oh boy. never be able to get all of them. There's definitely an influx of beans and a Hogwarts compared to the first year. What the hell is all this? Okay, I think we did pretty good. We didn't waste too much time. Harry, I want to investigate the scene of the crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. Do you really think there's a chamber of secrets? I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mrs. Norris. I think that whatever attacked her might not be human. Here we are, at the scene of the crime. It can't hurt to look around, since we're already here, and Filch isn't. Remember all the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? From in there. Let's have a that look. Door is, that door was sealed before. There. That's a girl's bathroom. Oh, Ron, there won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. She haunts one of the toilets. It's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. I wish people would stop talking about me behind my back. Who can the air of Slytherin be, though? Yeah, we're just gonna people ignore her. Frighten all the non-magical folk out of Hogwarts. Draco. They're not non-magical folk. They're just Muggleborn. Come on, Harry, be sensitive. Him. We'd need to sneak into the Slytherin common room and ask Malfoy a few questions without him realizing it's us. <laughs> But that's impossible. All we need would be some Polyjuice potion. It transforms you into somebody else. We could change Harry into a Slytherin. No one would realize it was really Harry. Two of the potion ingredients are a bit tricky, I'm afraid. Powdered bicorn horn and shredded boomslang skin. Harry, I'll need you to get me some. Any idea where I can find some? There's some bicorn horn in Snape's storage room. Dude. I'm not sure about the shredded boomslang skin. I'll need to check at the library. Lovely molting boom slangs and corridors full of goo. This should be enjoyable. Mm, it probably will be. So this is gonna be another uh, for another sequence, and I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching uh, this episode. We have well, we learned another spell, and we. We heard the story of the Chamber of Secrets, and that's really cool. And uh, and the the attacks on the, the Muggleborn students have begun. Although at this time, the the only victim is a cat, so I guess it hasn't really begun. But the the game is not gonna tell the full story. So um, yeah, I I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I'm I'm having more fun with this game than the game deserves. Let's be clear about that. I don't really think. Like this is like one of the best games ever made or something. But for a movie tying, which is in or a, a novel tying, I guess it it's one of the better ones. I mean, I, at least I can feel the efforts put into it. I think I I, I can feel that the developers tried to do, uh did what they reasonably could have done to 
make the gameplay smooth and enjoyable and just the simple. I mean, I'm, I'm probably older than the target audience for this particular game, but you know, nostalgia. You, you can't really beat that. There's really no reasoning nostalgia. So with, with uh, on that note, um, I'm gonna wish you guys a well, uh, just. Uh, generally good day because i don't know what kind of day you're having and uh thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye